Wait, you, you brought your mother here to stay. How is it possible? Where do you want her to stay? If my mother cannot stay in this house, neither can any member of your family. Do you want it to be four against one? Are we, are we fighting? Does this look like a war? All the rooms in this house are occupied. Where's your mom going to stay? There's no space for her here. You go and tell your sister or your brother or your mother can even vacate a room for my mother to stay. If she's not staying, nobody else is going to stay in this house. That is the only condition by which my mother will live. Else, let us throw everybody out. Have they, have they sent you to ruin me? What is wrong with you? What is happening? I could say the same thing for you, Mark. Because it looks like you were sent into my life to ruin me. Else, why do you pick every other person above me? Why you can do anything for every other person but me? You will never make sacrifices for me. I tell you again, my mother will stay in this house. Else, throw everybody out. That is our final decision. She is staying. Remember, a man will leave his mother and father and cleave to his wife. The both of them will be one. We should be speaking, reasoning, and taking actions as one. having a meeting in the kitchen in our own house. Can we not go into that details right now? Uh, what is that? Um, <clears throat> um, you, um, you see guys, my mother-in-law is around and she'll be staying with us for the meantime. So. So I, 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 I was wondering. Talk maybe, now, Mark. No, it's not easy. I, 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 I was, I was wondering maybe one of you could vacate your room for her. Eh? I'm good with that. Technically, not me, because it's not happening. I'm not vacating my room for anyone. Neither am I. And don't look at me like that. It's not happening. Left for me, she shouldn't stay in this house in the first place. But if she must stay, you can sort out your business with her. And don't ask me to forget my room. You hear me? <sighs> Sorry, bro. But it ain't happening. I'm not leaving my room for anyone, no matter what happens. Son, do you want me to vacate my room for her? You are my son, just say the word and I will gladly do it for your mother-in-law. Hmm? Look, you need to know how to handle relationship. You need to take your stand. You don't have to listen to what I, your mother, has to say, your sister, no, your brother, not even your wife. Do what is best for your family. But I will advise you that anything that you are doing, just make sure that you put every other relationship into cognizance. Else, one will suffer for the other. That is enough for you. Is, is, is leaving. We'll have to check your mom into a hotel. My mother is not staying in any hotel. If 
she wanted to stay in a hotel, that wouldn't be a problem because she stays in this town. But she came to stay in her daughter's house. So here she will stay if you're not going to make room for her. Then I will. What do you mean by that? Watch me. Has the person vacated? <laughs> Nobody wants to vacate their room for you. <laughs> and I am not going to allow my mother. So you will have to move in with me. Are you coming? To your matrimonial bedroom. Is your husband not here? I don't care. He can sleep anywhere he likes in this house. Maybe just move in with any of those his family members. I don't care. But I'm not going to sit by and watch my mother roam around in my house without a room. I won't, I won't allow that so you will come and sleep in my room with me. That is my daughter talking. The lioness does not give birth to the pussycat. Lead the way. Trouble they want, trouble they will get. What's going on here? My mother will be sharing this room with me since you have decided not to do what you should do as a man. So, where am I supposed to sleep? I don't care. You can go and share a room with any of those your family members. So you can place them above every other person, right? Go and share a room with them. Whenever you decide which room you want to stay in, just tell me, I will bring your things to you. But you see this room, I and my mother will be sharing it. Baby, has he got into this? Yes. It has come to this. When we refuse to take your stand as a man, you will be tossed about like a ball. I really pity you. I pity you because no one mistreats my daughter and gets away with it. I pity you. <clears throat> Sweetheart, please help me with my sandals. It's mommy. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Mark, what are you doing here? Why are you not in your bedroom? Mama, Madam, Madam Stella and her daughter, they've taken over my bedroom. And you allowed it? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do, Mama? I begged all of you to vacate your rooms for her. Hand. But you guys refused now. And besides, if my family can stay here, why can't her own family too stay here? Mama, Mama, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm just barely two weeks in this marriage and it's, it seems as if I've been in this marriage all my life. I'm tired though. I'm losing it. I'm going insane. 
It's all right. I will go and talk to your brother and sister. We need to leave this house for you and your wife so that she can live the kind of life that she wants to live. Hmm? Mama, um, where do you want to go to? If you leave, where do you want to go to? And besides, even if you agree to go, I know that Helen and Ben, they can never leave this house because they're, they're very stubborn. No, if I should talk to them, I know they will understand. Your mental health is more important to me than this place. If it means me going back to the village, so be it. And if it means that we have to go and look for a smaller place, we have to do that. Then all we have to do is to leave this place so that you can have your peace. Mama. Mama, I, I don't want you people to leave. I know what you've done for me. I know the sacrifices that you've made for me. And besides, I remember Papa telling me that I should make sure that this family doesn't separate. And, and I, I also remember you warned me to marry a wife that will unite this family. That was why I married Vivian. I, I didn't know she was going to turn out like this. If, if you people leave this house, what am I going to tell Papa that I chased my mother and my siblings out of the house because because I married a wife. You made a promise to the dead. But we are the living. Sometimes we don't see the future when we make promises. But now you have to adjust your own life for your own good and for those involved. If your mother-in-law should remain in this house, it is going to cause you big havoc. So if we must leave this house for her to leave, then we must leave, my son. Mama, you're going nowhere. Not on my watch. So, what do you want us to do? How do we solve this? <laughs> 